So I want to talk about inflammation because if there is a bottom line to disease causation, it's probably inflammation. Now everybody knows inflammation is redness, heat, pain, swelling. That's what it happens. And that is the body's response to something which it doesn't want. So if you get a sliver in your hand, the body will produce an inflammatory response. There will be white blood cells in there. There will be other chemicals that go in there. The blood vessels will dilate. It will get red. It will swell. It will get painful. And this is what inflammation is. Now, if inflammation occurs in joints, they're going to hurt and they're going to degenerate because the inflammation itself can cause destruction of tissues. If the inflammation is going on in your brain, you may have headaches or you may have brain fog or depression or anxiety or you may not be able to sleep because the brain itself is inflamed and if this organ is going to be used to communicate and relay nerve messages and it can't do it right, you're going to feel it. If the inflammation is in the coronary heart arteries, you're going to get blockage and you may not be able to get uh, blood throw, flow through and you would be susceptible to a heart attack. So depending on where the inflammation is, sometimes people get inflammation in their kidneys and then their kidneys stop working. So depending on where the inflammation is, multiple sclerosis is actually inflammation that denatures or, or wrecks the myelin that's around the, the nerve cells. So these are all causes of inflammation. And inflammation can be infectious, so bacteria or funguses or parasites, uh, viruses can cause inflammation. You know, when you get a strep in your throat, it hurts, you get pus there, it's inflammation. It's from an infection. Inflammation can also be caused by heavy metals. A person is in an environment where they are getting too much arsenic or lead or mercury or cadmium, and that getting into the body produces inflammation. Uh, we test people for about 24 different environmental toxins, and these toxins are things like gasoline additives, and styrofoams and plastics and flame retardants and pesticides and when they come into the body they produce inflammation and they're free radicals radiation causes inflammation so we're in an environment where we are going to get hit with things and we have to have our nutrition good enough so that our body can combat these things so antioxidants green foods colorful foods the right amount of, of essential fatty acids, the right amount of amino acids, and then handling the infection or the toxin to get it out of our body is the strategy to reduce inflammation. And if we get the balance right so the body can protect itself from inflammation, insulin is another big one that produces inflammation. So if your fasting blood sugar is high, if your fasting insulin is high, if you have diabetes, you're prone to inflammation and all the diseases that come from inflammation whether it's heart disease or fatigue or stroke or cancer, these things are generally avoidable if we can quell and handle inflammation. So there's a strategy for this, and if you're inflamed, if you're hurting, uh, we can help. So come see us.